Hello, ready? Welcome back to another episode of Creative Craft. I'm back at my base, and I guess you can already guess what the main focus of today's episode is going to be. So, if you haven't watched it, in the last episode, a string volcano <clears throat> uh, appeared in the shopping district. I explained all the details about the volcano last episode, so uh, if you want to know about it, go watch it. And so far, none of the things that people are supposed to find, the core magmas, were actually placed in the outers. Yeah, the players of the server don't have that much days left. I think they have like eight days during the time of recording. But yeah, anyways, I, I think two episodes ago, um, I said that I'm gonna take a break from building my base and do something else. And that's the episode where I built the bounty building. So guess what? I've decided to start working on the base once again. Because right now it kind of looks uh, kind of kind of lame. It doesn't look that cool because there's really nothing above ground. I'm going to improve that. And I already have a, uh, a plan built out and created, so that's not gonna be that difficult. And before I start doing that, I want to show you guys something cool that we made. We now have custom hats. Yes, custom hats. I have this cool Amethyst tiara that I made myself for me. It looks pretty cool. There's like Amethyst crystal flying around. And I also have this interesting straw hat that I made. Anyways, we're adding hats to the server. Uh, there's other hats as well for uh, that I... That both me and my friends made. Let's uh, talk about some plans that I have for my for my base. Do you see that thing up there? Like it's kind of like a floating disc. The very top is like held up by this Amethyst crystal. Cause as I said before, the Amethyst crystals have like magical properties in my base's lore, and it can make anything around it like float around it. Like it basically have its own gravitational pull. That's what I'm gonna do to like the whole area on top of the quarry. I'm gonna fill it with like various different rings like those with an emphasis in the middle and each of those rings are gonna have different purposes oh yeah and i don't know if you noticed i finally got frog lights that's my current plan for my base let's get to the building After some work, I have finally finished more of my base. As you can see, uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going with for my base this season. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna make these circular discs. Yeah, um, I'm going to like definitely put stuff in, in these discs and make it look nice. That's what I'm gonna do next. I haven't done any of that yet. And yeah, I'm also planning to make like a little bridge system that connects everything that starts over there. And just so I can like easily go to each of the floating platforms without like using my elytras. Um, there's still a lot to work on, so I'm gonna shut up and get back to the building. So 
yeah, so um, I've, I've, I've done some decorating on top of these floating discs. I didn't really time lapse this because I feel like it's gonna be very boring since I keep, like I kept running back and forth getting the random blocks. Up here, that's like mainly the workshop area where I have those special crafting blocks I can use for different stuff. And then down here, like I said before, that's like the potion area. I've added this enchantment table in the middle. Uh, the little garden, I added some some plants to it and some stuff underneath of it to make it look better. Over here as well, the storage room. Uh, it's finished. I have some chests here. And up there is my uh, sleeping area, my private quarter whatever sleeping quarter i have just some random stuff i put and there's also a minecart here because why not you know why not have a minecart here that's about it yeah now i just need to connect all these little discs together and also make a big cherry tree right over here oh my god i don't know my i draw right up here i'm planning to make a big cherry tree right up here and this time i'm actually going to time lapse it so let's get back to the building I finished connecting all the platforms together. Uh, yeah, and also the cherry tree. Oh yeah, take a good look at that. I don't ask why I have a cherry tree on my build. I, I just think they're cool. I also moved the beacon so it shoots right through there. Yeah, do you see it? Yep, it shoots right through that crystal over there. And I am almost done with phase two of my base. All I need to do is do some terraforming around this quarry to make it, I guess, more natural looking and not just like a big hole. And that's all I'm gonna do, and after that, I'm gonna wrap up the video. So let's get back to the building. And yeah, the terraforming is done. My base. Finally looking more base-like. As the time of recording, uh, this season is drawing to an end. So I'm probably not going to uh, actually like do more things to my base. So this is probably going to be what my base looks like for season 2. And it is a pretty good base. I, I really like it. So yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. See you guys next time. Bye.